you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. So he's antisocial. Not necessarily. Too late. <laughs> already put he it in my have mind. Too many friends, so I hope Locked you two away. get along good. Yosuke, antisocial. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. So he's also a sociopath. Okay, got it. Thank you, Saki. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's annoying. He's annoying. <laughs> That's not true. Nah, he's a great. Well, I don't know. He's Broske now. Broske, he's a great guy. That's like saying I'm a great guy, right? I'm not annoying. Nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just Am kidding. Now she looks really Japanese. Okay, yeah. I just offended everyone in Japan. In Japan, I was about to say like I, just, I just offended everyone in Japanese. In Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Later. Back to work. Later. Oh, uh, senpai? Back to the lab again. Rejected. <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, Kay. you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So that's how it is. I honestly do not care about Yosuke's problems right now. The daughter of a local Can we please keep talking about what we were talking about before? And the scion of the that's the only thing interesting about this town. Flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. He still calls her dude. Oh, really? Also, I believe that is the well, only I time that we ever saw Yosuke's cutout uh, with blushies. Wow. That would make I believe that's the only that makes time. Sense, actually. I'm not sure though. I mean with that that face where mm. he kinda looks like a little bit down or slash embarrassed with blushies. Other time he's smiling because he's proud of himself and he gets blushies. I like how you call it blushies. You ever hear of the midnight channel? That's what happens when you draw anime. <laughs> You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say, that person's your soulmate. Okay. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Jeez. Burn. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? <gasps> childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? No. That's kind of where of the uh, comment came from. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something <laughs> this stupid. It's just like my 12th birthday. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think Man, it was Yosuke can talk some shit. Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> that was the creepiest laugh I think I've ever heard. I wish Too I could heard you it now. hear it. I, I, I'm really curious Shh, now. Sh you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I am saying is, <clears> you guys better try it out tonight. Man, okay. she really wants us to try this out. I'll give you this one, Dyke. No more. Maybe we okay. should check out the Midnight Channel tonight. Says the prompt on screen. <sighs> um, um. It's disgusting. Her alone with Nanako. Um. Did your father call? Did your father call? <laughs> oh. He always says he will. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. oh, he's home! Don't choke now. She sounded so happy! Oh. That was adorable. 
You're still the cutest thing ever. <sighs> what a day. Sup, Uncle Doji? I'm back. Get Did drunk. Anything happened while I was out? No, nothing happened. No. <clears throat> You're late again. Nothing ever happens. I'm busy at work. Jeez, this character model was like... Can you he, it looked like board? he was really angry answering to Nanako. Yeah, he kind of looks... His character model makes him look angry. Yeah. Why are you still alive? <laughs> Quit talking to me. Stop existing. Next. More details Swear to God, that panda... That panda in the background. <laughs> that panda. It's He's totally still there. It. He's freaking checking me out. He wants some protagonist to ass. It's gonna be a running gag. Oh, this is the uh, this is the Odin Sphere announcer guy. Oh, town. <clears throat> it is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Taro, Namatame, and Misuzu Hiragi. <sighs> That's how he said him. That's how he says him. Not, not Taro. It's Taro. Okay. If the news says it's right, it must be right. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with a councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Hiragi, an Enka sinker. Could the incident be tied to their lovers, lovers' quarrel? I don't know. The police plan to investigate That's this so relationship like, and question any personnel involved with Lovers' that. quarrel murder things are so cliche, though. In addition, mm -hmm. we now bring you an exclusive Atlas is above interview that. with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Of course they are. Oh, man. <sighs> An interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? He's tired. What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? This reporter sounds disturbingly annoying. Uh, I'm glad I came here now. Female students' face and voice are indistinct, but you feel like you've seen her before. I totally can't tell who that is because I'm distracted by the beavers. <laughs> I can't tell if those are beavers or bears anymore. <laughs> I think I they're know. bears. Are they really? I think they're. I think. I think they're. Uh, they're. Uh, the Japanese bears. Oh man. Sun bears? No, sun bears know. are black. Sun bears, I don't know. It might be grizzlies. From here, oh. they, they look <gasps> like bears, she but with killed. really large mouths. Or something. Yep. Like, he has a giant smile or something. Oh, uh, so, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. Okay, I'm, I'm like distracting from the game. We heard that you found it when you left school early. <laughs> did you have some personal business to take care How of? How is that relevant at all? Can this guy get fired, please? He's trying to pry into her personal huh? life. That's... She reminds you of Saki Konishi, Yosuke Senpai. Our Senpai, too. A tragedy that I don't think it's her. I don't know what they're talking district. about. You're not even looking at the TV. Many store owners are raising <laughs> concerns about losing customers... The bears did it! <laughs> If they lose more customers... If it's not the bears, then it's the panda. Think about it. <laughs> it really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for Gee. the crime. I wonder why. Those are prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown? And they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? Is that kind of obvious? <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. He just falls. Oh, I skipped the. <laughs> Day he fell is asleep. Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get Yay. in touch with our products. 
Three. You screwed it up. Three, oh. two, one. Every day's great at your, your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Yay, not a go. Good job. And then suddenly hey, she became like the Can cutest we thing ever. together sometime? <clears throat> He's he's freaking creeping back there. He's still in the shot somehow. <laughs> I'm telling you, they did that on purpose. Uh not a go, how's it going? Okay. Not not bears. Not bears. Not panda. panda. <laughs> Alright, uh we can do like one more day. <clears throat> Wait. Made a promise to try out the rumor. What? Is there anything what? in that fridge? Oh yeah, that's right. We can check the fridge. Nothing I don't even remember. Out. Oh, okay. I, don't, I didn't remember, so... To the bedroom! Ooh. We're gonna watch TV in our room. You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true? Find out next time. No, they're finding out right now. Oh. I told you we got roofied, man. Are you okay? How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Uh, kind uh, of. Kind of. Okay. Well, good night. Hey, go back to your room. You don't want none of this. Why did my, yeah, what just happened? <laughs> Good question. Was there the drugs? Or something's fucked up with this TV. I think in the process of moving our hand, we jumped to 88 miles an hour. And that's why we saw some serious shit. Well, that was very eventful. We should go tell everyone. I think they'll believe us. Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko... Kimiko Sofue. And I don't know how much you know about world history, but I am an expert! Of course, because you're wearing Egyptian headdresses. It automatically makes you not insane. 
about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items. You use dowsers. Okay, now she really is insane. There's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. Was... How? Okay. How is history a romance? How? The entire history of mankind is caked in our, each other's blood. Like, seriously, you anybody, I, I can say this now, anybody, anybody want to read a good action book? A good war book? Read the Old Testament of the Bible. I am not kidding you. Really? 80% of that book, 80% of the Old Testament of the Bible is war. I didn't know that. I don't like uh, teachers who are like, hey, history is beautiful and romantic and all. Oh. Like, no, history kind of sucks, actually. It's interesting. Don't get me wrong. Oh, we got to answer a question? Oh, crap. I was totally spacing out. What did AD, in other words, Anno Domini begin? Ooh, <laughs> I know. When? Um. When, when, Creed? It's the second one, right? Now, something funny about the second one that I always think is funny is because the way that I think he answers it is like, he sounds like a, an idiot. Like he says, When Jesus was born! But, yes, that's right. Yeah! I'm good at history! You don't know about what BC stands for? Before Christ. Of course, now they're trying to all this bull crap about like uh, BCE before Common Era and then CE for instead of AD, which is Common Era. That's like, weird. Uh, I never heard that before. They're trying to make they're trying to make AD and BC politically correct, and it's kind of stupid. Oh. I'll stick with my BC and AD. Mm-hmm. Oh. Survive. That's water. It's passed down to the next generation. But now it's time to start the, from the beginning. Let's take a look at the origin of civilization. Monkeys. Or something. I believe the first civilization was Mesopotamia. I don't know. I believe that's it. I may be wrong. I always, I've, I've, as always, I may be wrong. I haven't been in a history class in like two years. What's up with the body being hung I've been in history down. class in a long time. It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai Short told girl. me it's a third-year <laughs> who found the body. She doesn't look that short. Y yo. Um... It's a. Uh, it's not really that important, but. You saw it too, didn't you? Well, yesterday on TV, I. Uh... Oh God, yes, he did. Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai, supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today, either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today, too? Don't leave me, baby. Things are You're really gonna happen. continue with that, aren't you? I'm sorry. Yeah. She's the only hot chick for me right this moment, okay? Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed She is alright, don't get me wrong, but... I know. I guess they're running her ragged. <sighs> you know what? Chie, you'll do for now. But only for now, once Yukiko's back. By the way, did you it's all see Yukiko it? all the time. Huh? I saw something last night. Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl. Called it! Called it! That's bullshit! <laughs> but my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Called it! I know, what it, I know what it means. I know what it means, GA. For sure. I know what it means. Her hair was means born, you like to scissor. Wearing our school uniform and that's okay, what that's it means. Actually, that's actually kind of hot. Never mind. 
And you were trying to disagree hey, with me on this. That's the same person I'm I saw. I'm sorry. I couldn't. I know when you put it a certain about. way, the image I, saw I can was agree. Much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the yeah, same well, soulmate? My TV tried to eat me. How should I know? Yeah. <laughs> Guys? How about you? Did you see it? Yeah, I saw my it. TV my, my TV tried, tried to eat to me. Eat me. <laughs> uh, it sounds like we You believe me, right? Person. But we no, don't you believe me? The other part. Is that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. No way, no. man. It really I have tried. One I have the scar to prove it. Me. The back of my head. Where you got stuck, See, it's in, the, see, it's in the shape of a lightning bolt. Well, if it had been bigger, that... That's just a bad reference. Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking Solid about buying a bigger though. TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out? They're on kind the of back? standard at We're this point. We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. What? Yeah, I'm sure you have a couple hundred bucks in that skirt. We've got some pretty big ones. Are in you stock. implying that she's a prostitute as well? Be big enough for you to fit no. Into? <laughs> I would never. These guys are dicks. They just made fun of me. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. 